The Yaz culture is a fascinating archaeological culture that existed in Central Asia during the early Iron Age. The Yaz culture flourished between approximately 15 to 5 centuries before the Common Era, and it was centered in the Margiana region, which is now part of Turkmenistan. The Yaz culture was an early branch of Iranic speakers, likely ancestral to both West and East Iranic speakers. They implemented sophisticated irrigation systems to support agriculture and sustain their growing population. Yaz settlements featured mud brick houses and platforms, often organized in grid like patterns. The Yaz people produced a distinctive type of pottery, characterized by its use of potter's wheel and the application of painted decorations. Unfortunately, there aren't a lot of Iron Age DNA samples from Turkmenistan, but for this video, I did find one sample, which we will cover today. That sample is DA382. It is dated to roughly 9 centuries before the Common Era, and is male with Y lineage R1A Z93, which is a lineage associated with Bronze Age Sintashta culture, who this individual does descend from. This individual's autosomal admixture is 56.4% Sintashta and 43.6% indigenous Central Asian agriculturalist. I ran the sample through my trade predictor tool for DNA analysis, the link to purchase which will be in the description of the video. The individual is predicted to have green eye color with minimal odds of brown and dark brown eyes. This trait is rather unusual for Iranians today. This individual is predicted to have dark brown hair, although there are significant odds for light brown and dark blonde hair as well. This individual is predicted to have an olive skin tone and almost no chance of dark brown or palest skin. This individual is predicted to have wavy hair texture and almost no chance of kinky hair. This individual is predicted to have a Greek shaped nose, which is an aquiline long and narrow nose shape. Here is the predicted phenotype for this individual with Trade Predictor's Phenotype Oracle. The closest two-way mixture in the Oracle is a mix of Alpinid and Corded Nordic phenotypes. This individual has a strong predisposition to eczema, age-related macular degeneration, rheumatoid arthritis, male pattern hair loss, type 1 diabetes, and thyroid cancer. The high predisposition to male pattern hair loss could be expected as almost all West Eurasians score high odds for this condition with my tool. The high score for type 1 diabetes and rheumatoid arthritis reflects a predisposition to autoimmune disorders as a whole. This sample also carries HLA risk variants for celiac disease, although thankfully no risk variants for multiple sclerosis in HLA DRB1. This sample has some genetic protection from hemoglobin E disease, migraine, gout, epilepsy, myopia, atrial fibrillation, cardiovascular issues such as stroke, myocardial infarction, aneurysm, etc., ADHD, and multiple sclerosis. This sample has an average, perhaps slightly above average predisposition to bipolar 1. Regarding the warrior versus warrior trait, this sample is predisposed to warrior phenotype, which leads to quicker dopamine reuptake and lower dopamine levels, as well as higher stress resiliency. Regarding the availability of D2 receptors, this sample is predisposed to a higher availability of D2 receptors, which leads to lower propensity to no-go learning and higher odds of bipolar 1 and schizophrenia. Regarding 5-HT levels, this sample is predisposed to lower levels of 5-HT, which leads to higher odds of anxiety and depression. This sample is predisposed to higher odds of autism. This sample carries a European variant for lactase persistence in MCM6, and another variant that's not exclusive to Europeans in LCT and is predicted to be likely lactase persistent. This sample is predisposed to a lower level of empathy based on OXTR genotypes. This sample has a genotype for lower odds of cannabis induced psychosis, which is most common in Europeans, a genotype leading to increased anxiety in response to caffeine and a genotype which leads to a significant drop in blood pressure if using beta blocker metoprolol. The sample carried one risk variant for familiar Mediterranean fever and a genotype which leads to a significantly higher odds for cleft lip. The sample had a predisposition to higher odds of epithelial cancers based on 8Q24 genotypes. The sample had some protections from testicular cancer based on his Kittle G genotype. The sample carried a rare variant for Ehlers-Danlos syndrome and holoprosencephaly, also known as cyclopia. 
The sample had a predisposition to average or intermediate odds of obesity. The sample had a pretty significant predisposition to color blindness based on his genotype in the OPN1SW gene. The sample carried two copies of hunter-gatherer CLTCL1 gene variants and likely had reduced ability to process carbs and sugars and was less likely to detect beta ionine floral fragrance. The sample most likely had blood group B, which is most common in South Asia today but isn't common in Europe or the Middle East. Regarding biomarker predispositions, the sample had a predisposition to higher levels of vitamin D, which is a good predisposition. The sample also had a predisposition to higher levels of LDL cholesterol and lower levels of protective HDL cholesterol, which is bad and leads to increased odds of cardiovascular events. The sample had a predisposition to elevated glucose levels, which is also bad. The sample had a predisposition to average hemoglobin levels. The sample had a predisposition to average blood pressure. The sample had a predisposition to average levels of iron in the blood and didn't carry any risk variants for hemochromatosis. The sample had a predisposition to lower levels of sex hormone binding globulin in the blood. The sample had a predisposition to average red blood cell count. The sample had a predisposition to above average telomere length, which is good and leads to longer lifespan. The sample had a predisposition to shorter height. Thanks for watching until the end. The links to purchase the raw DNA file in 23andMe format will be in the description of the video, as well as the link to purchase the trade predictor executable. Thanks for watching. Make sure you leave a like and share. Goodbye.